I miss days where I can just sleep in and just forget about going to work or going to some place, just relaxing, waking up to the sunlight hitting my face. Like, I haven't had a day like that in a while. In fact, I want to... I want to start the day like that with my work wife. That would be so nice. Just to wake up to her cute little self. Of course, the first thing Max would do is take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Oh, how cute. You know, like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. Yeah, so you have to go. Picasso. Even I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Rachel. Since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. So let's go. Let's go to school. Vamonos a la escuela. Okay, I need to get dressed now. But first, I'm going to be... Oh. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Damn. Okay. So yeah, before I get dressed, let me go and be nosy. I don't think I'll be moshing today. You know, some of those shirts my work wife would be interested in wearing... And Chloe, why is it that you're so against you're so against authority, but you have the American flag like Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. That's because you comfort her enough Frank to forget might about think it. Frank twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shit storm. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Are you jealous? Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Now? Wait, wait. Chloe, money. Now. I don't have your money yet. This is my last message. I'll get it. Now, you fucking corn. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Uh, first of all, let me look at that I joint here. I was such here. a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Oh, yeah, I feel bad, too. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Because she cares. Isn't that adorable? Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. Police and fire departments responded to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Dun Donuts of Peckinpath Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and metaf metaphenamines. He's being held without bail pending further investigation. Wow, that's dumb. Thank wild. God she's okay. 
I wonder when I can visit her. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in a stable condition under supervision at Arcadia Bay Med Center. No more information is available at this time. I'm really happy Kate is doing well. I feel like she just needs to get out of the environment for a moment or two just so she can clear her head and breathe. It's pretty sympathetic she had to go to that extreme just to get that type of solitude though. I love this song. Well, I can't listen to it because YouTube with its, you know, copyright claim. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. As if the butterfly correlates with Ra Rachel. That's cute. Huh. Wait a minute. She has condoms. Oh, no, Chloe. What's this? Yeah, I like being nosy. Leave me alone. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. And she still has it. Which means she still cares about you. How could you? I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. You know what? Instead of feeling guilty about it, next time when it happens, just do something. Time Duh. to put on your daily armor, Max. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Yeah, not I saw serious. them condam. Not stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. Yeah. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, mm. duh. Mm. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. All right, let me, what, go in the closet? Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. How convenient. Max, you don't have style yet. Damn. At least give it a try. That's really mean, bro. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Really? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Something now LGBT. He doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's in a oh. girl and girl action. Something LGBT has cat. happened to Max and Chloe. Look at oh, that. Man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. And now she's daydreaming about it. Good job, Max. Nothing wrong with being dominant, bro. Nothing wrong at all. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Okay, so let's see how that outfit fits. Flannel, of course. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. What? <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. Of course. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? She has to wake and bake. Look at those boxes of pizza. How many of them are? One, two, three boxes of pizza. Damn, Chloe can eat. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Ooh, let me see. 
Max, thank you from the from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You've the only one who was there for me at school, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You're always being our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Aww. Hey, Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, promise. It's like when we were kids here. Okay, so since I was in a bathroom the last time, I wanna see if there's any changes. Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm Yo, so hardcore. That bird is here. I just realized that. Let's take a photo because why not? Say, guess so. Um, let me see. Ooh. Hair dye. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Mm, nah, not yet. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. Wait, are you gonna use her toothbrush? What's ironic You're is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. You're using Chloe's toothbrush. You know what? It makes sense now. First the kiss, now showing the toothbrushes. Like, bro. And then you were asking if if she had a thing with Rachel. Come Chloe on, bro. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see you. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. And now it's there, chilling in the bathroom. All right, let's go to... Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? Of course they don't. Only you do. Now let me go inside Joyce's room because I, I am... I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Ew. All right, let's leave. Yes, I love free food. Like, what's good, Joyce? What's for breakfast? Like, so many photos. Hello. Um, good morning. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Ah. Uh. I mean, Max. Whoa. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now mm. tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon, baby. Eggs and bacon all the way. Hell yeah. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. What? I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Deadass. I can handle eggs and bacon. Yeah, fine. I'll help. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Aren't refrigerators dumb expensive anyways? I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, bacon. And... Ooh, the eggs. Hell yeah. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love bacon and eggs, bro. Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. But I do like bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. That's, that's where it hits. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. Mm. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. That Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. 
<laughs> Max Caulfield. Are you actually jealous of Rachel? Yes, she is. She's, you know what? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Damn. Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Wait, Doubt what? It. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh, right. I'm gonna get some eggs. I'm gonna get some bacon. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Flash snow and freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon. Superheroine saves suicidal Blackwell student. Uh, wait. Hold on. Let me see if there's anything. Who drinks beer this early around here? Probably David's drunk ass. I'm gonna go outside, see what's up. See if there's anything that also changed in the backyard. I just love being... Ooh, dead bird. Poor thing. Why is there a dead bird in the backyard? Like, that's mad suspicious. Why is there another dead bird here? I wonder how these birds died. That's what I'm saying. Why is there so many dead animals here? That's mad suspicious. Is there another one? Yo, look at this. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Something suspicious is going on here, and... Uh, I don't know. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. Yeah, well, let's sit. Let's sit and then have a I montage. When Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe that, always wanted to swing all the way around. That's a cute memory. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. Chicken. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Wake and bake. Wake and bake. All right, so enough contemplating. I want to stuff my face with eggs and bacon. Nothing wrong with some good fresh air, though. Oh, hell yeah. I'm excited. So we got scrambled eggs. Thank you so tool. much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good. You can clean. Ha! I guess nobody waters the plant here. Yo, look at this. Two thick, dummy thick pieces of bacon. Like, Bring look at those this. eggs and bacon to my belly. Shit. You want to win my heart? You gotta go through the stomach. Like, cook me some banging ass food and boom, I am in love with you. That's it. Shit, I'll even pull up with a ring if you give me some good ass food. Like, no lie. She didn't eat the whole thing. That's a waste of bacon and eggs. Come on, Max. You slacking as hell. Peanut butter? I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I mean... Seeing you again? Ah, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Thanks, Joyce. Wowzer. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. 
he had his car out right after this and and damn I know Joyce I'm sorry I didn't show you this to be morbid in fact I want you to have this. Are you sure? This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Speaking of the devil. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Damn. It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Bro, don't talk to your no mom like that. Calm down. You, Chloe, you fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, Shut who's up, being Chloe. paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Oh, I'm back here again in the garage. Or the garage. As some people like to call it. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. And this is where I get nosy. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Hmm, 7171? Is that it? Magic 8-Ball says no. Okay, that sucks. Password is not the combination lock. Nothing in it. What about here? Nothing to see here. Corned beef? You know, corned beef is pretty good with white rice. And then you mix the french fries in it. It's a good Spanish dish. I definitely would recommend eating it. it tastes so good. Aww, so cute. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, stepdad. And keep in mind, he has the card. So she must have rejected this card or he never gave it to her. Greetings from Arcadia Bay. Okay, let me see if this is it. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Oh, come on! Leave me alone. Ooh, wait. Yeah, I already searched for- I already searched there already, like. Hold on. What's this? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Video message from mom and dad, um, July of 2007. Okay, you could try that. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Okay, what about... What's that? That's cute. Could be a password here. To a real life hero, 607 Survey Company. Alright, that could be it. Um, at this point, ooh, what's this? Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel, keep your wings up. Huh. Well, it's like what I told my war crush. So, you're not always going to be the good guy in everyone's story, but if you're the bad guy, you better be a damn good one. Ooh. Now the car looks ready to roll. 
This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. I didn't mean to click on that twice. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name's Joyce, if you forgot. Oh, Joyce. Oh, oh. Now we know who made the first move. I see you. That might be a useful password. Two Whales Diner, receipt, eleven twenty-seven oh eight. Yo, look at the prices. Eggs and sausage, four fifty. Toast, a dollar twenty-five. Coffee, a dollar fifty. Come see us again. Yo, that's pretty cheap, huh? Okay, so I do have enough potentials here. So let's see. Which one is the password? Um, let me see if this works. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? What? Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police Report, case number 678, reporting Officer Anderson Barry. <gasps> oh no, Ra Rachel has been fooling around with Frank. It made sense as to why he got her bracelet. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Matson, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Ms. Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. KM follows the same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vortex Club Party. Drugs. Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. Or maybe she has a hard time taking a shit, bro. Come on. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. You know what? That is something we can both agree on. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party, not even church, drugs. Try to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Max Crawfield profile. Max online aliases. Mad Max. Max Factor. Your Angel. Max Crawfield student. Max's class schedule, October week two. Maybe he's trying to figure you out, see if you're a bad influence to Chloe or not. I mean, I, yes, it is creepy, but... I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? All right, let's go. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is what that does your that mean? Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He yeah, weirdo. Them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. 
Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Or what, Not you gonna now. smack her yeah, again? I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Yeah. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. It's so fucking you weed. In your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes. David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. Uh-oh. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Oh, so you're avoiding the question. Oh, okay. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home. David paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh shit. Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Damn, this is so awkward. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.